What's up, everybody? This is Dayton from Killinois Kennels coming back at you guys with another banger. In today's video, we're going to be introducing you to the parents of the next litter of America bully puppies that we're going to have for sale on this channel. We're going to start off by showing you tons of footage of the parents breaking down their pedigree. It's going to be a really good video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. But first, I want to go ahead and let everybody know on our previous drop that we had on this channel, out of our boy here, Killinoy Kennel's Big Clout, also known as Ronnie Coleman, and our girl, Killinoy Kennel's Pink Starburst, had an amazing litter, and all those puppies are already in their new homes. I ended up having our ground shipper, Mike, take some videos once he dropped those puppies off, and we're gonna give you guys a little bonus clip and let you guys see that today. There really wasn't enough footage to make its own video, so I figure I would just go ahead and drop it in this one. These customers picked up female number two from that drop. You know, she headed out to Dallas, Texas, I want to send a major shout out to them. This is a super nice female that we let go on a steal of a deal, man. This was a super nice pickup for this family. I was in love with this whole litter and they all went out to some really nice homes, man. I can't wait to see this girl in the future though. But now we're going to go ahead and get into the footage of this family actually receiving their dog. This is sweet. Yeah. So this is the shipper for Killinois Kennels dropped off in Dallas, Texas. Anything you want to say? We love her. We're in love. Thank you. All right. That was a small clip of them receiving their pup. You know, we asked Mike to do that, and he's not going to bring them through a long video. But we got a video coming up with female number three. You know, she headed out to a real special person, man. You guys will not believe who ended up picking up this dog. And like I said, man, we got that video coming here really soon. I'm just waiting on them to send me out a little bit of footage. And as soon as I receive that, we're going to go ahead and drop that video on the channel. If any of you guys can think of who it is let us know in the comment section make sure you guys hit that like button and let us know where you're tuned in from and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos or our upcoming litters of american bully puppies but that's enough for all that man let's go ahead and get into the next litter that's going to be for sale on this channel this right here is gonna be the father. This is our boy, Killinois Kennels God of War, one of my personal favorite studs that we got over here on the yard. This boy is a complete bull, one of the most well-balanced dogs I've ever seen, man. And I'll tell you what, this boy's been throwing it down as far as productions go. We've been receiving some footage from a lot of our Killinois family members, and in our next video, once we introduce you to the litter that's gonna be available soon, we're gonna show you guys some of those productions. I'm talking about some real nice dogs. God of War is available for stud to approve females only. For anybody that's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. I gotta speak with my partner, Alex, to find out exactly what his stud fee is at. You know, I know previously it was at 2,500, but it's most definitely time for this boy to go up. This litter that we currently have that we'll be introducing to you guys here really soon, we got a really big litter and I've been recording those puppies for the past two days and that's why we haven't posted on the channel. But him and this girl that we bred him to, they threw it down. Just wait till you guys see the female that we bred this monster to. You know, this is another new dog to the channel, man. We've been dropping a lot of new dogs back to back to back. And like I've always told you guys, they do nothing but get better and better. And then today we're gonna be introducing you to one of the newest females to the camp. This girl is insane. I can't wait for you guys to see her. She's gonna be new to you guys, but she's not gonna be new to us. You know, this girl's been around and it's just time to bust her out. You know, she was produced right here in the Killinois camp. Just wait till you guys see her. But again, if anybody wants to lock this boy in at a stud credit, I'll tell you what, we'll work a deal right now. If you lock him in this week, you can lock him in for 2,500. But again, that's for this week only. So make sure you get with me and we'll take care of you. You know, I'll have to deal with Alex on that one because I'm pretty sure he does want him up at 3K. But this boy is insane all the way around the board. 
This boy's got perfect straight fronts, some of the best fronts I've ever seen on a dog. You know, he's got a super wide chest, big head, neck, rear, total package American bully. You know, not only that, this boy's got the blood to go with it, you know, and we're gonna go ahead and get into that right now. We're gonna start off by showing you some of his litter mates, and then we'll move on and break down his pedigree and also introduce you to the newest female to the yard, the mother of our next litter so make sure you guys stay tuned the next four dogs i'm going to show you are going to be the litter mate brothers and sisters to our boy god of war for those of you that don't know litter mates are the dogs that are born in the same exact litter not dogs that come from the same parents but these dogs were literally in the same litter born together and the reason why we show you that is we show you how consistent our litters are we don't end up with just one nice dog off a of litter we end up with several this right here is going to be god of war's brother this is our boy killinoy kennels applying pressure also known as baby james and this right here is going to be god of war's sister this is our girl killinoy kennels beautiful Here's another one of God of War sisters. This is gonna be our girl, Killinois Valkyrie. On the left, we got BRC Global Champion, Killinois Armani. That's another one of God of War sisters. And on the right, we got BRC Global Grand Champion, Killinois Jax. That's gonna be God of War's brother. With that being said, God of War is real close to being a BRC Global Champion himself. You know, the only reason he isn't is because we haven't had him out to as many shows, you know, as some of these other dogs, but he will be a BRC Global Champion soon. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And you know, once that happens, we'll have three champion dogs out of just this one litter. And I'll tell you what, the other dogs could be champions as well. Super nice litter, and like I always say, our litters are nice and consistent, and this is the type of stuff that I mean by that. And for the most part, you really don't have to worry about what pick you get. As you can see, whole litters full of quality dogs, and that's what we strive for every time. Now we're gonna go ahead and break down God of War's pedigree. What you're looking at right now is his father. This is Fokeen Styles Raider. Super nice boy, man. This boy's stud fee is actually at $50,000 right now. And we was one of the few kennels that was actually able to use this dog before he was shut down to the public. Super nice bull, super exclusive blood behind all these dogs that came from this Raider litter. And big shout out to Khan for the use of this boy. This right here is gonna be Raider's father. This is grand champion Rocco Mania, another badass American bully. And this boy is, you know, won the nationals here in the United States and he's won the nationals over in Europe. This is another dog that we got heavy in our yard over here. We used this boy with our girl Stella as seen here. We produced the dogs like this boy Ace of Spades and our girl Lauren London and many, many more. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll be showing you guys some of those other productions here soon as well. This right here is gonna be Rocco's father, Eminence Boss, one of Dak's best producing sons. And this right here is gonna be Rocco's mother, Lola another real nice producing bitch so we showed you raiders father side of the pedigree now we're going to go ahead and move on to the mother's side this right here is going to be raiders mother this is chilladrina she comes off of eminence boss as well so with that being said raider is two times eminent boss on the bottom side of raiders mom's pedigree she goes back to this badass boy phenom another one of dak's best producing sons and she also has a tad bit of razor's edge blood in her she goes back to two times low jacks remy martin as seen here so that's it for the breakdown of god of war's father's pedigree now we're going to go ahead and move on and break down the mother's pedigree as well so make sure you guys stay tuned This right here is gonna be God of War's mother. This is our girl, Killinoy Kennel's Cardi Bean. She's another one of the many amazing females that we have on the yard over here. And this girl threw it down with her first litter with that boy Raider. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you a couple of her litter mates. This is gonna be our boy, Killinoy Kennel's Stacks. 
And the reason why we show you the litter mates is we show you that these dogs come from generations and generations of badass dogs, not just one fluke dog out of the litter. This right here is gonna be Cardi Bean's sister. This is our girl, Xena. And again, all three of the next dogs you guys are gonna see all came from that same litter that Cardi Bean did. This right here is Killin' Like Kennel's tank. And again, he's the litter mate brother to Cardi Bean and another real badass boy. This right here is gonna be Cardi Bean's father on the left. That's Muscle Tone Bully's Mr. Bean stacked up next to Grand Champion Rocco right there. So both of these dogs are in God of War's pedigree. Here's another little look at Mr. Bean. This dog was sold out to the UK for a huge amount of money, just like his father. This right here is gonna be Mr. Bean's father. This is Muscle Tone Bully's Mr. Magoo. And this boy is now located in China and sold for over $750,000. And this boy is one of Dax's best producing sons as well. RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and his creator, Ed Shepard. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Cardi Bean's mother. This is our girl, Stella. She's another one of the many amazing females that we have on the yard over here. And this girl has put it down for our kennel. Some of your guys' favorite dogs come off of this girl right here. Or they go back to her blood, but this girl threw it down for us. This right here on the right is gonna be Stella's father. That's champion Lucky Luciano, stacked up next to Muscle Tone's Mr. Bean, the dog that we bred Stella to, to get our boy Stax, Cardi Bean, Tank, Xena, and all them dogs. Here's another little clip of Lucky Luciano stacked up next to Grand Champion Rocco. Another nice clip I figure I'd add to the pedigree. This right here is gonna be Lucky Luciano's father. This is the late, great Gotti Lines Dax. And this right here is gonna be Lucky Luciano's mother, which actually goes back to some of our blood with our boy, Killinoy Kennel's Debo. This right here is gonna be Stella's mother. This is Kane Kennel's Shaka Khan. She's a heavy bred Dax female. She come out of a breeding with 217 Gotti Lines Goldie and 217 Gotti Lines Nunu, which was actually a Dax son bred to a Dax daughter. Well, that's it for the breakdown on our boy, God of War's pedigree. We showed you some footage of him. We showed you some footage of his litter mates, showed you all the ancestors. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and show you the mother of our next litter of America bully puppies. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Now, allow me to introduce you guys to our girl, Killinoy Kennels Glorilla. This is her debut on the channel, and this is a dog that I could not wait to show you guys. Like I mentioned before, she was produced right here at the Killinois camp, and this is the type of female that we're sought out to produce off of every single litter. Just look at this girl. Glorilla is another total package, extreme American bully female, man. She's put together all the way around the board. She's got it all, man. This girl's got a heavy bone, real nice chest spread, neck, shoulders, rears, total package dog, man. This is the type of female that'll give males a run for their money. Glorilla actually deserves her own video on the channel, but I didn't want to double back on all this footage. The timing just didn't permit it. We're about to get the puppies up for sale, and we didn't want to hold off trying to get other videos done, man. We don't want these puppies getting old on us. Speaking on the pups, we already got the footage done. I'll be chopping that up as soon as I get this video done. I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible so I could get to working on that one. With that being said, we won't be posting a video for probably a few days. These puppy videos do take a lot of time. I do got a real nice Killinois customer pickup video coming that, man, like I told you guys from our last drop, wait till you guys find out who we sold this last puppy to. You know, that's gonna be a really good video. I'm just waiting on some footage to come in and that'll be up as soon as possible as well. But, you know, we'll get to the puppies here ASAP. I wanted to get on here, release the breeding, you know, show you guys these parents, show you this super nice female and Glorilla right here. You know, like I always say, one of my personal favorites, man, but this girl really is, she is insane. The last six or seven breedings that we've had on this channel, 
the females have all been new additions you know this will be the first look you've seen of all these girls man and like i tell you the dogs do nothing but get better and better and, and better as we go man and we're proving that on the channel i'm not just telling you this we're proving this i mean like i said this is an another amazing girl to the yard and just you know some of the best stuff that we got you guys haven't even seen so if you're not make sure you go subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out but that's it for the footage of our girl gorilla we're gonna go ahead and move on break down her pedigree so make sure you guys stay tuned that's right everybody this right here is gonna be Glorilla's father. This is our boy, Killinois Kennel's Nino Brown. Glorilla came from Nino's very first litter. She's got some super nice litter mates and stuff. You know, we'll be waiting on getting some updated footage of those dogs and all that, man. And that'll be coming here really soon. This right here is gonna be Nino Brown's father. This is gonna be Faux King Styles Kamikaze. And like I always tell you guys, anytime we step outside of the yard, we do it with a bang. And this time was no different. This boy Kamikaze is a badass bull. And I want to send a major shout out to his owner, Khan, for letting us use this boy. This right here is going to be Kamikaze's father. This is ABKC champion Grimm. This boy is a real badass extreme American bully. And he comes out of grand champion Rocco Mania another dog that you guys have seen on our channel we got this boy rocco mania's blood running strong in our yard over here and we've even bred to this boy in the past for those of you that don't know we bred rocco mania to our girl stella as seen here this right here is going to be rocco mania's father this is eminent boss this boy produced his ass off and is another one of gotti line dax's best sons this girl right here is gonna be Lola. This is Rocco Mania's mother and another real good producing female. This right here is gonna be Grimm's mother and she goes back to a lot of real nice blood. She goes back to this boy situation, a badass Dax son. She also goes back to some old school Midwest Razor's Edge blood with this boy Pacquiao. And she also goes back to this badass boy Conflict Bullies Conflict owned by the homie Israel Vargas. Now we're gonna go ahead and break down Kamikaze's mother's side of the pedigree and this is gonna be his mother. And we ain't gonna go too in deep on this one because his mother is the litter mate sister to grand champion Rocco. So to create Kamikaze, it was a real nice line breeding on the eminent boss and the Lola blood. This right here is gonna be Nino Brown's mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Wrigley. She's another one of the many amazing females that we have on the yard over here. And this girl threw it down with her first litter out with that boy Kamikaze. You know, look at Nino, and we'll also be showing some of the litter mates here really soon. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This right here is gonna be Wrigley's brother. This is Killinois Kennels Pork Chop. He's owned by the homie John Braswell, one of our Killinois family members. And this is gonna be Porkchop, and I think he was around 11 months old at this time. But this boy Porkchop is a monster, man. I can't wait to see some new footage of this boy. Make sure you guys let Big John know in the comments. We're ready to see some more footage of this boy Porkchop. But just look at that boy, man. That litter turned out really nice, man. We couldn't have been happier. I'm also looking forward to seeing some of the other litter mates. So if you guys own one, get some of that footage out to us and we'll feature it on the channel. This right here is gonna be Wrigley and Porkchop's father. This is our boy, Killinois Kennel Stacks. This boy's been really putting it down over here for us, man. We got a lot of up and comers coming off of this boy stack. So make sure you guys stay tuned. This right here is Mr. Bean and Rocco Mania stacked up next to each other. That's Stax and Xena and them guys' father on the left, and that's Ace of Spades' father on the right. This right here is Mr. Bean's father, Muscle Tone Bullies Magoo, one of the most famous American bullies ever. This boy right here was sold out to China for $750,000 and has some of the most sought out blood in the world. This right here is Magoo's father, Gotti Lines Dax, 
RIP to Gotti Lions Dax and his creator, Ed Shepard. Dax is another dog that his blood was really sought out for. I've seen this dog's blood all over the world. I've been to judge dog shows in South Africa, the Philippines, Brazil several times, and no matter where I go, I see this dog's blood. This right here is gonna be Stax's mother. This is our girl, Stella, one of the many amazing females that we have on the yard over here. She's a proven producer, as you guys can see. Most of the dogs that you've seen in this video today, this girl produced. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and we're gonna break down Stella's pedigree. On the right there, that's her father, champion Lucky Luciano, stacked up next to Mr. Bean, Stax, Cardi Bean, and Tank's father. That's the boy we bred Stella to on her first breeding out. And like I said, that's him stacked up with her father. This right here is Lucky Luciano's father, Gotti Lines Dax, one of the most famous American bullies ever. RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and his creator, Ed Shepard. This right here is Lucky Luciano's mother, a real badass female, and one of the many good reasons it is to have Stella on the yard over here. This girl goes back to our own Killinois Kennels Debo blood, one of our foundation studs we have on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. This right here is Stella's mother, Kane Kennel Shaka Khan, a real heavy bred Dax female. She goes back to 217's Goldie and 217's Nunu, which is a Dax son bred to a Dax daughter. Again, this is gonna be the father of Wrigley. This is our boy Stax, and that's gonna be the breakdown on his pedigree. Now we're gonna go ahead and move forward and break down Wrigley's mother's pedigree as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned. This right here is gonna be Wrigley's mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels, Nina. She's another one of the many amazing American bully females that we have on the yard over here. Like I said earlier, this girl Nina looks just like a male, just like her mother and her daughter Wrigley. This right here is gonna be Nina's litter mate brother. This is our boy, Killinois Kennel's world domination, also known as Napoleon. He's one of our main studs that we got over here at the Killinois camp, and this boy's been producing his ass off. Just wait till you guys see some of the stuff we got coming up off of Napoleon. He's available for stud to approve females only. For anybody that's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. Right now, Napoleon stud fees at 2,500, but it will be going up soon. So for anybody that's interested, make sure you guys get with us. Now we're gonna go ahead and break down Nina's pedigree and we're gonna start off with her father here. This is our boy, Killinois Kennels White folks. He comes from generations and generations of our blood and is one of our main studs we have on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. This right here is white folks' father, our boy, Killinois Kennels Primro, a real badass male with a pedigree like none other. He comes off of our boy, Killinois Kennels Rocky, one of our foundation studs on the yard. Rocky comes off of Devil's Den's Viper and our girl Envy, our short shot and steel daughter. So the pedigree is insane behind this dog. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Primrose mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Prodigy. She goes back to a real nice razor's edge combination from Hennessy and Paradise. It's pretty much the same combination that made the Samurai Paco. The only difference is, is you got razor's edge row to Paradise rather than Hennessy to Paradise. Either way, it's gonna be a Cairo son to a short shot daughter. This right here is white folks' mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Trinity. She come off of breeding between Razor's Edge Primetime, a real badass smoky son, and our girl, Killinois Kennels Nuisance, a real badass dominator daughter. This right here is Napoleon's mother. This is our girl, Trixie. Another one of the many amazing females we have on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. We love our males, but we really take a lot of pride in our females and we feel like you can't have a successful kennel without them. Trixie is really heavy bred on the low jack Remy Martin blood. This was a real famous razor's edge dog back in his day. She also goes back to this boy headquarters. 
this boy Fonzie, and this badass boy Pokemon. Trixie also goes back to this boy Blue Pride's Easy Rider. He was a real nice producer and ties in to some of our Dominion blood. This right here is gonna be Glorilla's mother. This is our girl, Killinois Nala, one of our best producing females, and just look at that girl, Glorilla, just some more proof. Nala is the littermate sister to our girl, Killinois Kennel's queen here, and also our girl, Killinois Kennel's Elsa. This right here is gonna be Nala's father. This is our boy, Mowgli. He was inbred Dax, which makes him two times Gotti Lines Dax, and he's also two times Gotti Lines Romeo. This right here is gonna be Queen's mother. This is our girl, Killinois Harley Quinn. She come off of our boy Porkchop, a badass primetime son, and our girl, Killinois Trinity, a primetime daughter, which actually makes these pups three times Razor's Edge primetime. And this right here is going to be Trinity's mother, our girl, Killinois Kennel's nuisance. Well, that's it for the video, man. We hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and let's shoot for a thousand likes off of this video. Also, make sure you guys leave a comment. If you don't know what to put, you know, just leave a fire emoji or whatever, man. Also, leave the words Killinois Kennels in the comment section. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go over to Instagram, follow us at Killinois underscore Kennels, and also follow us at TikTok at Killinois Kennels as well. We've been dropping a lot of never seen before footage on those platforms, stuff that you will not see on YouTube. We're about to get really active on there i think we got about thirteen thousand followers on instagram and where you know we're almost at 2k on tiktok so make sure you guys get over there follow us you know big shout out to everybody that rocks with us man hits that like button comments on these videos shares the videos tells your friends about the channel man we're on a road to 100k subscribers right now and we're gonna do our best to try to make that by the new year i know we haven't been really active on the channel but all that is about to change man make sure you guys rock with us support those videos and stay tuned because we got a lot of real big stuff coming up